Waza. While I'm getting on my smoke this evening, why not? We get ready to check out and see what the fuck is going on with the news. Don't judge me. I'm a car can member. This shit chills me the fuck out. But, alrighty, let's do this. Let's see what the fuck is going on out there. Alrighty, holy shit. Trump slams Supreme Court IRS Dems for fishing expedition. I, I agree. I mean, he's fucking out of office, but here we go. Still over here chasing after Trump. For what reason? They're terrified he's going to come back into office or whatnot. They're terrified of the MAGA movement. They're terrified of his family. I mean, they've got to do everything they can to, con to contain those people right now. And they're doing every avenue that they can find, every little dirty fucking trick. But I'm surprised the Supreme Court's going along with it, you know. Um, I know our Chief Justice um, was on Epstein's Island. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, if that plays into it or not or whatnot. But if he was hanging out on the Little Leader Express, that damn sure needs to be exposed. Um, that's a wholly different, totally different, uh, for another different time sitting here talking about that. We could talk about that forever either. Epstein and Bill Clinton and all that bullshit. But anyway, so, you know, he right now Trump's saying, you know what, here they go. Continuing with his fucking witch hunt. The entire four years he was in there, what happened? Roscoe, stop that shit. That's my boy Roscoe over here in the background. He was digging in his butt for something. He's old. He's old. Sorry. Didn't mean to, to, to interrupt what we're doing here. But the, the um, Mueller investigation, think about that. They spent how much time, how much money trying to collusion, collusion, Russia, Russia, Russia. Nothing. And try it and crazy fucking alcoholic Nancy with the corn lazy fucking eye and looking all fucking crazy and shit. Anyway, the bitch needs to retire and get the fuck out of politics. But anyway, she went ahead and did two different impeachments. Tried anyway. And Trump was acquitted both times. So now oh, here we go. This other bullshit. So uh, they, they just can't let him go. I mean, it's like Trump derangement syndrome. I'm telling you. And I'll tell you why, why I think so. He's like myself. I'm a Trumper. You know, I'm not only a Trumper or whatnot. I'm conservative. But see, most conservatives will follow Trump in two fucking seconds. And the establishment is terrified of that. They would do if they could just erase him from the face of the earth, they would do it. That's how much they have disdain for him. And they're terrified of what he's going to do. He could split the, the GOP in two fucking seconds if he wanted to. If he created another party and whatnot, he would, he would, the GOP would lose half of their party easily, 100%. I know. I'm an independent, but I'd go sign up for that fucking party in two seconds. So, um, the, the Supreme Court also, let, let's keep going with this. The Supreme Court. Another fucking beauty. They refuse to hear the PA election lawsuits. There's three different election lawsuits that the GOP brought to the Supreme Court and wanted them to look at. And today the Supreme Court says, no, nah, we ain't checking that shit out. It's a fucking shocker there, right? I mean, they moved the goalpost of uh, the ballots being counted for three days. So they extended it. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania did. That's wasn't constitutional can't do that kind of shit but they refuse to hear it so it's going to get swept under the rug not fucking matter anymore it's just ah, you know when i see rulings like this or whatnot i can see that at times i think democracy's democracy's fucking dead democracy's out the fucking window democracy's an illusion so um house conservative this is a good one here the the uh, the uh the the covid bill the 1.9 trillion uh, the House members are saying, you know what, fuck, we're going to try to pass this $1.9 trillion monster through, and they're not really telling the American people all the little goodies, the liberal goodies they've got stuffed in there, whatnot. So, the um, Republicans, the study committee, sent a three-page memo out to conservatives on, on uh, outline how they should uh, go ahead and, and dig through that huge bill and find all those little goodies and post that shit everywhere. Post those things. Because right now the Democrats they don't the Democrats don't want that shit outed. I mean the fucking bill is probably like fucking that big or shit. Who knows that big? Who fucking knows? To me I don't see how you can create one bill and shove all kinds of other shit in it. That just don't make no sense to me. That's why I take one big file and just boom and throwing everything in it. That don't make no sense. You should do a lot of whatever. 
We, we know that our government is wasteful. We know that they spend our fucking money without, they don't give a flying fuck. I mean, look how much we are in debt. I mean, 1.9 trillion, they're saying that like it's fucking nothing. When President Obama took over, he did what, 790 billion or something like that? And that was a big, huge thing. And that was to try to help the, the economy and everything else. Now we're just 1.9 trillion, tss, tss, nothing, no problem. We need to get back to work. This COVID shit, this COVID ruse needs to stop. Okay, I, I'm not saying that people aren't hurting, people aren't dying. They, they are. I agree 100%. But it's causing more damage with suicides, with uh, depression, with the kids being home all the fucking time. I mean, people can't make ends meet if they, have, they can't get a babysitter if they have to be home all fucking day watching their kids or whatnot. You know what I mean? Responsible adults are going to do the best they can to do that. But a lot of Democrats don't see that shit. They see this as just an opportunity to seize and hold on to power. So... <clears throat> All right, last one for the evening before I get off here. Ah, yes, Cuomo. He is, Governor Cuomo is still in deep shit for all that kind of stuff he happened with uh, uh, the nursing home deaths and whatnot. And this guy here, man, he thinks he's just the, the, the king. Shit. And to me, his power should be revoked. Since he was hiding things, that's that shit. He should be fucking impeached. I mean, I don't understand how in the hell he's still staying in there. What not what? And he got look. I think he got nominated for a fucking Emmy. Who in the fuck would give this guy an Emmy? Oh my God, killing me. But so uh, his younger brother, what not? We 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 see Fredo on there all the time. I mean, him and his brother bantering back and forth and whatever else. Both of them are fucking losers in my point in my books. So I don't give a shit about them. Alrighty, that's about all I got for this evening. You guys have a good one and keep on keeping on. Come back and see more later on. Peace.